It is 1014, and this morning we're bringing back the Good Day Fashion Police for a rare non-award show edition of Fab or Fail. We also brought in a few recruits. Recruits, for uh, details, we want to send it over to producer Chris in the control room. Chris, good morning. Good morning. This is my first time doing Fab or Fail. Yes. Oh, wow. I'm pretty excited awesome. about it. And You're we're fashionable. talking about what you see on the screen behind you, the Real Housewives of Potomac. Because, ready or not, there are just a few all-new episodes of season seven left. We're going to get a new one this Sunday. Then we have at least one more the first weekend of February. Then it's the all-important season seven reunion. And while we don't know exactly when that will air yet, we are getting a sneak peek thanks to Bravo Insider. Yesterday, we got our first look at the looks they served when they regrouped and sat down with Andy Cohen because we all know when these women bring the drama, they do it in style. All of them decked out in head to toe matching blue. E! Online says they took their inspiration from their group trip to Mexico, channeling their inner tropical birds, guys. So oh. grab your signs okay. because we're going to launch right into it and we're going to start off a local edition of Fabra Fail with Giselle, okay? So take a look at the picture. This dress is by Albina Dyla, okay? So what do we think of the first one? All right, so I'm going to say, I'm going to say fail, but yeah. just a, a couple of tweaks. <laughs> so I think Giselle is, is stunning. I like the hair. Um, I feel like she could have showed more skin just in any area, whether it was sleeveless or like cleavage or a higher slit. Mm -hmm. And then where the diamonds run across her chest, right. I feel like that placement could have been different. Yeah, I, I agree. I think the embellishments kind of um, age, if I yeah. can use that. Uh, it, it, it's not giving contemporary. It's not giving fresh. And I think she's so beautiful and she deserved more. And I think she would have gotten more with less. Ah, less yeah. fabric. I'll I think say would have the raised the bar. Only reason I said fab, now that I know what they were going for, Tropical Bird, she nailed the assignment. I don't necessarily love the dress, and in any other event, I would say she could do way better, but I think for the assignment, she kind of had her own thing going. Okay. Okay. All right, so two versus <laughs> one. All right, next up, we're talking about our friend, Good Day, and... Fox 5 Lion Lunch Hour contributor Ashley Darby. Do you see her look right there? No word on who did her dress yet, guys, but you know we'll ask her the next time she's on the show. Whew. Fab, and not because she's a friend of Fox 5. <laughs> no. I think it's clear. She cleared in this picture. I'm head to toe. It's fantastic. It's exquisite, actually. Um, her body is on point. Yeah. You see that with the slit, the, the top, shoes. the hair. I love the bob yeah. um, on Ashley. I hope she brings that back. A plus. I think it, it shows off all of her best features. I mean, I guess you could argue all of them are great. <laughs> but, like, her legs, Come on. you know, showing them off. This dress was a little risky, not just in terms of it just showing a lot. But it doesn't, you just got to wear it the right way, That's right? That's a good point. Uh, but it just, gosh, it, it lays so beautifully. I love it. Yeah. It shows me that she just is naturally stunning because look at that waistline. Yeah, it's very I pretty. Mean, it's what incredible. waistline? That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. I'll see it. All right, three fabs and the complete opposite from oh. who we saw before. Next up, we've got Candace. She is wearing Karen Sabag, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. What do you guys think? Oh. I love yeah. this. It is like a dream of a dress. Mm. And I mean the way she's wearing it, because when you when you when you're posing in this dress, I mean you've got to yeah. give off regal, yes. you gotta give off, you know, diva, icon. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. And that mm. that shade of blue too, right? Because if mm -hmm. it was like a pale blue, I don't think it would have worked as well. Right. Yeah. I love that royal blue. And it's so beautiful against her complexion too. Mm. You use the word cloud, uh, Jeanette. And it looks mm. like she has little clouds yeah. coming down, cascading down. I thought she knocked this out of the park. And again, with the legs, I mean, she looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to speed it up a little now. Next up, we've got Robin. She's wearing Albina Diva. What do you guys think of this one? <sighs> this goes both ways yeah. for me. She's so beautiful. I just don't care for that particular cut of the dress on her. I love the color of it, so I could see how you could be 50-50, but I think, I think she's too beautiful for that dress. All right. Two I'm, more, I'm more fab than fail. I think I think she needed more of a stunner. Like the dress is great. <laughs> yeah. The cut is fine. All of that. I I just would have wanted a more of a wow factor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She played it safe. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Good point. All right. Let's move on to the grand dom, the grand dom of Potomac herself, Karen. She is wearing custom made chastity cereal. I love this. I mean, come I on. I think this is sleeve? my favorite so far. Actually. Wow. Yeah. 
That's very pretty. Yeah. The and lines, it, everything, the construction. And sexy. I like that it's got a lot going, just enough mm -hmm. going on, right? Yeah. Um, that's stunning on her. All right, next up, we've got Dr. Wendy. She is wearing Ryan Fernandez, oh, guys. Oh, come through, Wendy. Very much summoning that spirit of the tropical bird theme, I think, on this one. Or mermaid. Or mermaid. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here's what I'll say. I wish, I, I'm going to go with Fab. Um, I wish that the bottom color matched the same shade as the top part of it. The blue, oh, I see what you're right? saying. Yeah. Just to have a more um, just monochromatic look in terms of the blue. Mm -hmm. But that other than sense. that, I, I think it's gorgeous. All right, we've got three more to go through. This is our last main cast member. We've got Mia. She is wearing Brides by Nona. Mm. I, I give it a, a fail only because I don't like the slit in the middle. Yes. Oh. So I have to do a major deduction for that. And I think it's because already the dress is showing the middle of um, her upper part uh -huh. of the body, right? Like her abdomen. Yeah. So I would have liked just a bit of a change at the bottom. And I also feel like there's a lot going on. I like her hair and earrings a lot. Very beautiful with the center part, but I see what you're saying. Center part, center down the middle, open, yeah. center split. Yeah. yeah, it's distracting. I get what you're it's saying. It's a pretty color on her. Mm -hmm. Very shade pretty, of blue. Yeah. yeah. They are all very pretty shades of blue. Our next get one is our friend of the show, Jacqueline Blake. She is wearing a couture gown from Signature Dresses Georgetown, guys. I mean, really? Why yes. do you say fail? I put her in the same category as Robin's, Robin's dress. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's very uh, prom, you know. I, see what you're I, I, I think they could have done more. That's all. All Ditto. Right. Yeah. Our, mm -hmm. our last but not least, Sharice Jackson Jordan. She is wearing Balmain, guys. Huh. <sighs> this is hard for me because she looks beautiful, but dress wise, I don't know if I like the cut. Yeah, I was going to say that too. We, this is the first time we've all agreed. <laughs> I can't quite it. place my, my finger on it, but I. It's not a bad dress. Right. I don't know. It's not really giving me, not giving me much. Mm -hmm. I think, I mean, I think her hair looks great, her makeup yeah. looks great, all of that. beautiful, yeah. But I need I think a she could little sparkle, something Maybe else. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, just more of a, of a stunner. A little something go. extra. But, okay, <laughs> I'm looking forward to the reunion. I mean, me too. talk about fire. That, that'll be a good one. They yes. never disappoint. That's why they're in blue to cool it down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. For all the bombshells. So.